Welcome to Maristone Pottery. We're going to take this particular bowl, which has already gone through 20 cycles of thermal shock testing, and we're going to heat it up dry on our burner until it reaches a temperature in excess of 600 degrees Fahrenheit. The ice water over here is going to be part of the test, because once the uh, bowl has been heated up to over 640 degrees, then we're going to take it and plunge it into the water. And then we'll do an examination of the bowl. As I said, this bowl has already gone through 20 cycles, so this will be the 21st cycle of this particular bowl. And we also have two test samples that we're going to be testing at the same time. And the, these are new glazes. It's the same clay body, but a new glaze that we'll be testing. And this one will be the eighth test, thermal shock test, of this particular glaze and clay body. We have a temperature in the uh, water and ice over here of about 40 degrees right now. So we'll go at least 40 degrees higher on the burner before taking the bowl and plunging it into the water. As you can see, we have a, um, a thermocouple in the, uh, in the bowl which is going to read the temperature for us on a pyrometer. And in order to get things heated up a little faster, we're going to cover the bowl partially uh, in order to build up heat. Okay, at this point the temperature on the pyrometer is 640 degrees. Uh, the burner is still on. By the way, this is a 15,000 BTU burner on high. The uh, test samples are inside of the bowl and this bowl is being heated on this burner dry. Alright, and the temperature on the, uh, the ice over here you can see it, it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and so what we're going to be doing is plunging this particular pot into the ice water at, at uh, around 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and there'll be a differential in temperature of over 600 degrees Fahrenheit because this temperature is already up to 655 degrees right now. So I'm going to get ready to do the, uh, the job over here. Put my welding gloves on and I have to move pretty fast. We're going to make sure that the, uh, the ice is broken up so that we can get the bowl in there. Take this out. Okay, and uh, I'm going to show you the pyrometer. I'll take this out. Right now it's over 660 degrees. Can you see that? Okay. 667 degrees. I'll put that down. We're going to turn the heat off. Take the lid off and we're going to plunge it into the water. Here we go. have to make sure that it's cool enough to touch. I'll take the samples out first. This was uh, one of the test samples. This was the double dip of that particular glaze. And you can see that there's no crazing, no shivering. The clay body's in one piece. So that particular one was successful. This is the single dip of that same glaze. This was a new glaze that's been, been developed. It's 15C. Same condition, no defects. And let's take a look at the bowl. You 
can see there's the bowl. There's no cracks in the bowl. There's no shivering of the glaze, no crazing of the glaze. Everything looks like it's in perfect condition and that completes the test. Thank you.